Hi LEGO fans! It's been a few short weeks since we got our last instalment of LEGO Brickheads. Even less if you count the New York Comic Con exclusive with Boba Fett and Han Solo frozen in carbonite. But please don't get me started on those exclusives. <laughs> Finally LEGO's given the Brickheads treatment to the Star Wars franchise and today we're going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 41485 Finn and set number 41486 Captain Phasma. These are based on the characters as they appeared in the Force Awakens movie, but both Finn and Captain Phasma are set to reprise their roles in The Last Jedi movie, which is out this December. So the character choices are understandable, but still a little bit disappointing. I mean, there are so many other characters in the Star Wars universe that would make fantastic brickheads, and we get stuck with Finn and Captain Phasma. One really interesting thing about these two characters is that they're both marked as exclusives, although there's no indication of where these things are exclusive to. I just got mine from the online LEGO store when I was grabbing the new LEGO Ideas Women of NASA set. Brickheads usually come out in pairs, and if we look at the back of the box, you can see that on this occasion, we are only getting two Star Wars characters. So it's unlikely we're going to see any more in the near future. The side of each box shows the characters as portrayed in the Force Awakens movie, but there's no actual specific designation of film on the box itself. Okay, I think we've said enough about the characters. They're not going to turn into anything cool anytime soon. So let's tear these open and get them built. We're going to do this in set number order, starting with Finn. And as usual with these brick heads, we have a tab on the bottom, which gives us a nice way to rip open the box and get inside. Here's everything you get inside the box. Finn is the smaller of the two sets with only 91 pieces compared to 127 in Captain Phasma. We get two bags of Lego, a base plate, and of course the instruction manual. I'm gonna go ahead and get Finn built and roll this up into a 25 second speed build. Here's Finn in all his blocky glory. He took about 10 minutes to put together, and as brickheads go, that's about as simple as it gets. Really no complication to this build, and I think the finished build is quite a convincing recreation of the character. We've got a 2x6 printed tile denoting Finn's exclusive status, and there's more printed goodness on the torso. Great to see that printed First Order Stormtrooper utility belt. We've got the standard brickhead's eyes and these brown tiles making up Finn's face. One thing I find really annoying about my Finn is that the tiles on his face are actually scuffed. I mean, these came fresh out of the bag and it's difficult to show you on camera, but these are actually scraped and I think I'm going to have to contact Lego to get some replacements. Another aspect about the Finn build, which I think will be really contentious, is the hair. Now, I happen to really like the way Lego have done this with the studs, but I'm sure many people will disagree and say that they should have used tiles. So, tiles or studs? Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments section down below. No particularly inspiring features from the side, but like any First Order Stormtrooper, Finn is equipped with his trusty blaster. This is a very simple construction made up of four Lego elements and complements his outfit perfectly. The other side is pretty much identical minus the blaster. The back of Finn's uniform is also fairly plain, but I am impressed that they've included the custom thermal detonator that every Stormtrooper carries. So, summing up my thoughts on the Finn Brickhead, I wasn't particularly inspired by the character choice, but I do think they've made a good job of characterising Finn in Brickhead form. He's a worthy addition to the Brickhead's collection, but maybe not as worthy as C-3PO or R2-D2. Next in line, Captain Phasma. Uh, same deal here with the tab at the bottom of the box, which never really makes it that easy to get into. And uh, here's everything we get. Same deal here with two bags of Lego, a base plate and an instruction manual. And there's definitely noticeably more Lego elements here. I'm going to put Captain Phasma together and this is going to be another 25 second speed build. Here's 
is the completed Captain Phasma Brickhead, and the additional 36 pieces definitely makes for a more impressive looking character. Captain Phasma was also a little bit more challenging to build, taking about 15 minutes total. Lego do have a tendency to use different size base plates with these brickheads, but in this case Captain Phasma comes on the same size base plate as Finn, and we also have the exclusive 2x6 printed tile. We also get a printed utility belt, which is exactly the same in style but in a different colour to match the captain's uniform of the First Order Stormtrooper. I'm a big fan of Captain Phasma's helmet and the way this has been constructed. It's great to get these printed custom slope pieces on the side of the helmet, and I really like the way opposing slopes have been used to create the eyes. A similar technique was used at the base of the helmet, with these pieces mounted upside down to create curvature. The left hand side of Captain Phasma's body has been left uncovered, exposing a hand that she can use to clutch her Stormtrooper blaster. Except for the obvious difference in colour, this is exactly the same construction used to create Finn's blaster. On on the other side of the body are some more clues as to where the extra 36 pieces went. We've got this nicely detailed organic looking cape, and I particularly like the red seam that's showing out from underneath. The cape continues round onto the back of Captain Phasma's uniform, and while it's not as detailed at the back, it does create a complete look. Like Finn, I think Captain Phasma is a perfectly good recreation of a Star Wars character in Brickhead's form, and I'd probably venture to say that this is my favourite of the two. Speaking of which, let's take a look at both side by side. So what we have here is a perfectly good Brickhead's recreation of two current Star Wars characters. It's easy to be critical of LEGO for playing it safe and using current characters from an upcoming movie. But once you get over the character selections, I'm quite pleased with these Brickheads and I'm going to be very happy to add these to my collection. But secretly I am still dying to see a Yoda, an R2-D2, a C-3PO and many more characters from the original franchise. So that was my review of Brickheads numbers 19 and 20, set number 41485 Finn and 41486 Captain Phasma. I do hope you enjoyed today's unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I reviewed another 16 Brickheads on my channel, so please feel free to check those out and I'll put a link to the playlist on screen now. If you've not already checked out my channel, I've got almost 100 videos already out there and I'm releasing two new LEGO review videos every single week. I really appreciate you joining me today, stay safe and we'll see you on our next build video. Thank you